Welcome to this edition of DIY3DTech.com. In this episode, what we're going to do is we're going to talk a little bit about batteries. So, uh, actually what I've decided to do is start a, a playlist for what I'm going to call Shop Talk. And one of the first things I'm going to do in the Shop Talk series is talk about batteries. So, two of the things I believe you can never have enough of in life is a number one reading glasses if you come to my house you'll find them probably about every five feet because i'm about as blind as a bat within 24 inches of my face without them so i keep them hanging around the other thing i have a lot of as you can see and this is just some of them are calibers and micrometers so i've got a uh, whole range most of them are digital in my younger days you know I fancied well of course in my younger days there weren't digital ones and so I've got a number of mechanical ones of varying sizes and shapes including mechanical micro micrometers and all that so this is a micrometer and so I've also got metal mechanical ones I didn't put them out I think you get the idea and I've got far more than this and the idea is is when I want to measure something I want to have something handy to measure it so um, that's why I have all these calibers. So, but the one thing is, is um, you know, especially the digital ones. After a little bit of time, the batteries wear out. And so, uh, when that started to happen to me, I went down to the local hardware store or drug store and said, "Hey, I need a battery." So, typically, what you'll find is the digital calibers all use this type of battery. This type of battery is actually an SR44. And so now, one of the things to understand about this is this, this is encoded. So S stands for silver oxide and R44 stands for the form factor of the battery. So when I went to my local Walgreens and said, you know, hey, I need a SR44 battery, they said, well, we don't have SR44 batteries, but that's replaced by uh, an LR44. And I looked at the specifications, and you know both were basically a half, one half volt battery. And um, so I got the LR 44s, brought them home, put them in the caliber, and the calibers didn't work. And so I'm thinking, what the heck? I got bum battery. So I tried a different one, didn't work. So I did a little research on the internet, and there is a vast difference actually between the uh, SR 44 and the LR 44. Now the LR 44. Um, the L, interestingly enough, stands for something about yay long. I'll put the Wikipedia link below. Um, but long story short, they're an alkaline battery. And the LR44s have a voltage of 1.5 volts. Now, one of the things, notice this has a voltage of 1.55 volts. It also has an output of 200 uh, milliampers versus 150 for the... Um, uh, LR44. So the LR44s, even though they're roughly the same voltage and everything, will not work or typically will not work in a caliber. I, I've tried them in all mine and I, I couldn't get them to work at all. Um, when searching this on the internet, I found that there are some cases where folks could get them to work for an hour or two and then they would just peter out. So you really need to get the SR44 batteries. Uh, so there is a big difference in this. So anyways, uh, really wanted to share that and kind of you know if you're out there and you know you're having the same luck you know so you don't spend a ton of money at Walgreens like I did buying batteries you don't need because they don't work the SR 44s are a little bit harder to find again I'll put a link to these down below I ended up getting these off of Amazon it was like 10 bucks for a package of, of I think um, let's see there's six uh, eight left in here so ten so about a dollar a piece which isn't bad um, because the other thing doing a little bit of research that I've discovered is when you turn off the calibers, the digital calibers, they actually don't go off. It just simply blanks the screen, but the, the caliber stays energized, which is rather interesting. So let's try something here. Ah, that didn't work. Oh, I pushed the wrong button. So you, you notice that it it me, even with it with with it turned off it still measured the distance while I moved it while it was turned off so this apparently is one of the reasons it requires a silver oxide battery is it even when it's turned off it works so if I turn this back on again you can see it's it measured as I moved it and then it just this displayed it so uh, apparently the internet is correct so it just turns off so 
anyways hopefully you found this handy again i'll put links to all this below so you can reference it and you can get the the silver oxide batteries and hey if you found this handy if it saved you a few bucks give it a thumbs up pass it along subscribe and we'll see you in the next video cheers Please click like below and subscribe to the channel to keep up to date on all of our projects.